Hey guys, Uber Swift back, coming at you with another Clash Royale video. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading for like three weeks around that. I've been having exams lately, and I just finished them and I'm ready for my summer. And it's been, I haven't had time to make videos with exams. And I haven't showed you guys a Clash Royale video of me actually playing on multiplayer for like months now. I only showed you with Uber new. And since last video, um, ah! Sorry, since last video where I was at like 2,000 trophies, I managed to get to Legendary, and I've been there for about a month now. My trophy record, trophy record is 3,315, but I, of course, I'm being a noob and can't drop down. But look at that, what a G with my donations. 12,779. Look on Global, top guy in the world. 5,000, what a noob. And this is the strategy that I've been using for about three months now. And I remember in my videos months ago that I just started using this. And I was saying how good it is. Well, this is it. Pekka, Elixir Collector, Minion Horde, Wizard, Mini Pekka, Arrows, Princess, and Goblins. And one thing that really surprised me, so nobody start calling me a jammer or anything. I've gotten both my princess cards free. I've gotten the first one out of a crown chest and first one out of a super magical I got from battle. And then I ended up buying the Lava Hound in the shop for 40000 I saved up. And I'm just about there again. If you guys want me to do a video with my Lava Hound deck, just comment below because I'm not very good with it. Look at that. Ice Wizard. Ice Wizard. I'm not going to get him though. I want Sparky Miner in the shop when I have enough. Enough of talking. That's too much. This is... Ah, okay, I'm going to talk a little bit more first. This is my clan, Poseidon's Wrath. Um, I'm the leader of the clan. And the season just recessed, so there's not many donations. But usually every single member in the clan will get around 100. We're really active, and we need a few more spots open. And we're looking to kick some bottom members I don't donate as much. So it'd be good to get some higher level players in there. Preferably level 7 plus. So yeah, today I'm just going to be showing you guys my deck. And hopefully I don't mess it up. Okay. Hopefully I don't mess it up or anything. Because I know every time I record... I'll never do good, so I'm going to show you guys two replays, and then I'm going to show you a live battle, kind of like what Molt does. And don't get mad at me, I've been doing really bad the last today. Like, these are all disconnects, mate. Like, this game I disconnected. But this, I want to show you guys this first replay. It was a pretty good game. I disconnected early on, that's why he got the crown on me, and you'll be able to see that. I put my P.E.K.K.A. down, and just the game just disconnected, I didn't get it. And then when I spawned in, he pretty much had my tower. Good luck. Uh, see, this took me a while to put down my P.E.K.K.A. Right there, I'm disconnected still. I already put down my P.E.K.K.A. and everything. Now look at this, my P.E.K.K.A. finally got placed down, but by the time I noticed, where is my tower? That got me really upset, I'm just so glad I came back from this. See, I sent it out because I was really upset. I've been having a really bad problem with disconnecting. I know it's not internet, because I've been on more than one different internet and my data. Maybe it's just my phone, but I got a Galaxy S5 Neo, so it's a relatively new phone still. Picking away my tower, but I don't give up. If I disconnect, who cares? I'm gonna at least get a crown right here. I'm surprised I actually came back in this battle. Oh, that was just my friend. That was actually Uber Noob. See, I keep sending wows at him because I'm really, I was really mad at that battle. Oh, the salt was really that good. Salty. Double elixir timing for my deck is really good. People might say, Pekka's terrible, Pekka's horrible. But if you have the princess in this deck, it helps out so much. Even against Inferno Tower users, I can still win pretty easily a lot of the time with this deck. 
Same with my lava hound deck. I haven't faced a spawner deck in a while, so I'm surprised when against him. I'm surprised he ain't lightning everything. Though. I think he ends up lightning in like 10 seconds or something. He knows he's done. He knows it. He knows that tower's gone. You try a desperate lightning, you're done. As Moat would say. I want to put pressure on him. To try and, I want to try and get the other tower. And I don't even remember. This is like an hour or two ago. I forget how far down I get his tower. I don't take it out here though. I know that. Oh, let's see. Look at that. 12, 18.50 on my tower. 18.50 on my king tower. So that was really bad timing. I put down my mini P.E.K.K.A. as the fireball went down. I set some wows. Lucky fireball. See, I think he thinks he's, he could just wait it out and tie with me. That's just not the case with Uber Swift, is it? See, this is some serious luck. I needed my princess. Look at that. It just retargeted and killed it right before I could get away. Take down that barbarian hex. I knew I wasn't going to get the tower if I did. Bad mistake there. Fireballing two minions. You could have fireballed my wizard and my princess. And that gay thing ended up costing the game. From a disconnection to a win, you died. That's how Uber Swift plays. Go on and show you another battle. All my clans on. Get them donations. 567 in like two days. Another one. Tell I'm making a video. I will go watch the replay and come back to that after. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys this 2-0. This, this guy knew he was done also. Can I just like show you guys how my deck works properly? Then he might think it's not. And a lot of my cards have been getting buffed though. Like the main card in my deck, the P.E.K.K.A. got buffed. Wizard's getting buffed and the new balance change is coming on the 4th of July. I start off with Ice Wizard, bad list. And Barb is bad and ideal, whatever. See, that's five elixir, two, ten elixir done by a wizard. We still have around the same Ice Wizard, but we have the same amount of elixirs. I already had my elixir pulled down. Still really bad on his part. A lot of people do this to me, so you gotta, they really pressure you when you have a P.E.K.K.A. deck, so if you're gonna use this deck, be careful. A lot of people in my clan have took to this deck after I made it to Legends, and it's working out really good for them. And I strongly suggest not to gem in this game, because I, I used to gem, and I didn't get no legend. I put spent like 100 bucks in the game, I never got one Legendary, and then I, I'm a free to play, and I've already gotten three Legendary cards. Two Princesses and a Lava Hound free, and I'm just about to get, buy another one from the shop. So do not buy, don't gem. Unless you got a lot of extra money. Okay, we're rich. Fucking dough. Make me some money cookies. I'm just setting up my push. This is what I like to do with my push. Puts down. I, forget. I think he fireballs. That's what I would have done anyway. He just, I don't think he's thinking right. I think he does fireball. I don't remember all my replays. Nope, he's still thinking the barbarians are going to hunt, doesn't he? That's why I put the P.E.K.K.A. wizard mini P.E.K.K.A. and then if I can a princess right behind. Because, uh, whatchamacallit, you try, a lot of people try to counter me with barbarians. See, he knows that he already lost, but he's still trying to win. That was just a happy, angry face to show him that he's done for and he's not winning this game. After this game, I'll go into a live game for you guys. Just so you guys can watch the deck in action. Which I'll probably end up losing. Because that's how I work. See, even though I knew I was going to win, I didn't want to um, him to get a tower. So that's how I roll. He goes to second tower. And I guess he thought I was going to be able to get his third tower in like 20 seconds. He's still trying to get the last tower, that tower. He's probably trying to get a crown chest or something. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up. 
you have any you guys have any questions on this deck like if I don't have princess what would you replace it with because I know that's going to be a question if anybody wants to use this I'd probably replace it with spear goblins or something cheap like archers maybe fire spirits because something cheap like that don't want it too high there's dark watcher <laughs> Who? Who's YouTube? <laughs> oh, well, well. Okay, we're gonna go into a live game, see what he has to say after. Watch, I know I'm gonna choke this, just what I'm showing you guys. The other day I actually went on like, when I got that 3,315, I went on like a 12 game winning streak. I was really surprised. And I ended up losing like, 8, 9 games in a row. Rigged. No, it's funny, because whenever I'm losing, I'll call the game rigged or something. Yeah, this guy's probably a three musketeers. Three musketeer user. I see that a lot. A giant or a royal giant, and then a three musketeer. See? Look, I just shut down his whole push pretty much with that one wizard look at that if he doesn't do barbarians or fireball or something his tower most likely be gone that's how i roll you know what i mean where'd your tower go buddy oh did it disappear i can't see it no more <laughs> no miss i'm not usually the mean class right out there I say stuff to myself like that that's sending me some thumbs up Sending well played. That's a bad place problem. I think he's just doing that for fun now because he doesn't care. Is he just going to let me free crown? It's not. I guess I'll have to go to get the free crown myself. See, whenever I get a tower early on like that, most people I play usually just give me the free crown right away because they rage quit. Another thing I put on my resume is I'm a pro expo player. Back when expo was a thing, I was pretty good with it. Of course, I'm not an expo user anymore because I got this deck. I smell some barbarian easily. Yeah, that was pretty smart of him and pretty stupid, but that's okay. I guess we're just going to go for one crown on this deck. His royal giant's going to be coming out, I bet. I guess we're just going for the one crown then. I just want to win, I don't care. A lot of my plays with this deck, I go for three crowns, but... Well played. Come on, don't let, don't let the wizard get in front. Oh, jeez, you're dead. Where is your tower going? Actually, no, it might still be there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the. Oh god. Oh, Crocky. You're done. I guess I'm not getting free crown. That's okay though. At least I didn't choke it in front of you guys, and I actually won. That's what usually happens to me. I messed up really bad. Look at he barely touched my towers. He is a level nine though, and I'm a level ten, but I'm an early level ten. Twenty trophies. I'll take that. There's Matt saying hi to YouTube. So yeah, that's my clanmates, Dark Watch and Matt. And if you guys enjoyed the video and you guys like my strategy, be sure to like and subscribe. And just like and subscribe for better for more content. Okay, Uber Swift signing out.